All right, so today we're gonna show you how to uh, remove the stereo. You got this little bolt right here, and all you really do to remove the uh, the frame around it is you just start from the corner, and you start popping it off. It just pops off. Start from one corner to the other. Uh, really simple. Uh, once you're done with that, you should pull off really easy. Uh, you don't gotta pull it hard. It'll come off uh, immediately. Then you got your connectors on the back. You got your connector for the power source and the antenna wire. Then you need to buy a wire harness, a connector. You can find them anywhere from ten to thirty dollars, depending where you buy them at. There it is. It'll fit right in. If you buy right buy the right one, it'll fit right in. Um, then, if you see my previous video, you know that all you need to do to wire it up is just match up the colors. Um, if you haven't, go check it out. I have it on my channel. Uh, there it is. I'll power it up. Wired up. Working properly. It'll turn on when you turn on the car. It'll turn off when you turn it off. Uh, then you use the same uh, frame from the original stereo to put into the new one. It'll, it'll snap right on. You take off that sleeve and it'll snap on. Um, there it is. You only, it only, you're only gonna put one screw on each side, um, and it'll hold it on. It'll hold on tight. It won't be loose. All finished here. Um, and when you're done, when you're all finished testing it out, you just snap on the framing around it. Snaps back on, and easy as pie. Thank you for watching.